Well, my new PXG clubs are here and I'm playing tomorrow. So it's time to unbox them and put them in the bag. But just before we start, I must say, you guys didn't half give Stuart a bit of a bashing in comments. And I just don't know why. Let's just clear a couple of things up. Um, PXG have been absolutely fantastic with me. I went for a, a couple of fittings with Sam. We had the iron fitting, the hybrid fitting. Obviously, I love the PXG product. This has been probably the most authentic, or I don't know what you call it, but all authentic sponsorship. You know, obviously, it was the product that led me to the sponsorship almost, you could say. So I've run PXG, told them that I love the products. I'd like a discount if they could help me out because obviously I don't get any discount for a work on PXG. And they offered the sponsorship. And honestly, they are the coolest brand to work with. They've asked nothing of me. All they asked for is that I went to see, because Sam's a retailer of PXG. You know, obviously we know he's a master fitter. But in terms of PXG, they don't know his skills in fitting. He's not on their books as a fitter but Stuart obviously they know is one of their in-house fitters all they asked for is that I went to see Stuart and he have a look over the specs that Sam had fitted me for um, which obviously went up to Reading Park we did I've not had a fitting from Sam on driver so it was kind of a bit of a no-brainer you know why wouldn't I want to have a fitting on a PXG driver I have said before I never had a fitting I've never had a fitting by anybody else but Sam but obviously, I never expected this opportunity, you know, to get a free bag of clubs from, you know, one of the best brands in the world. So, obviously, we had the driver fitting. Um, a few people have obviously commented on, you know, the fit and, 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 and so on. And what I would say about Stuart, he's a lovely guy. And during or you know, before the video and during the video, his explanations were more to the audience than me. I mean, he knows I'm a PGA pro. He doesn't need to explain about the path and about you know certain bits and pieces to me but he understands that there's other people watching who probably don't have as much knowledge as I have um, and I, it's probably fair to say you guys have actually probably got more knowledge than he knows and I can't blame him for thinking that you haven't but I think you watch that many of these videos now you're obviously a lot smarter than, than people actually realise and you know that much more about fitting than people realise. Right, and I'll tell you what, PXG as well, because we never talked about bags or anything, they've just sent me this bag, it's genuine in the bag, I would have chose, um, I'm a bit of like someone who just likes something simple and black, obviously I like to carry, sometimes put the bag on a trolley, um, but fantastic, I'm buzzing, because I probably felt like I would have gone and bought a bag um, to put the product in anyway, I'm a bit of a golf nerd, so I don't know if you're the same, you've got to have a matching bag, but... Right, let's have a look then. Let's start off. I mean, look, you already know what irons I've got because you probably have watched the fitting video with Sam. So these are exactly the irons Sam fitted me for. What I will do at some stage as well, you have been saying, will you go down and see Sam? Uh, I'd like, you know, Sam to have a look at the product. I will go down and see Sam and um, we'll have a look at these clubs to see how they've actually been built. Um, because I've said, PXG have, had, have said I can do anything. they said can use the product, if you know, I find a better product, I can use that, they, they're so cool, like they only want me to use the product that I'm happy using, so there's no signed thing that I've got to use this all year for 12 months or anything like that, um, it's simply, if I want to use other product, I can use other product, there's no signed deal, it's just they wanted to give me the product um, rather than me buy it, so I can't say any more than that, I'm going to stick a close up of the irons obviously, we went for the CB0317. This is, it's the 0317 CB, yeah. This is the first time as well I've ever gone for an iron that's flatter than standard line. That's all due to obviously Sam's, you know, fantastic way of fitting. Obviously not using a lie board, not being led by how tall I am on my wrist to flow, but actually really seeing what the club's doing at impact and really just working on ball flight. So we've got four to wedge. We've got the Project X IO 6.0s with mid-size grips, half inch longer and one degree flat. 
I'm going to be playing with these tomorrow. I've got a game tomorrow, and then I'm going to see... I'm going to do a couple of videos with James Robinson as well the day after, so I will have had a round with him before I play with James. Um, one of the wedges is in here as well, so we've got the Sugar Daddy wedges. Um, one degree flatter than the irons, which you obviously... I'm not going to try and explain this to you because you probably know if you watch the videos. Obviously, you're not going to stand in full posture with irons. You're most likely to... You know, um, stand with a club sat a little bit flatter. So these are slightly, slightly flatter. But the same shafts, same grip, same swing weight, D5. Um, and we've gone for the BP grind, which is, I would describe as a slightly thinner sole wedges. So the ones that are a little bit more versatile. Um, I do like to kind of open wedges up a little bit. So I'll show you them. They are absolutely stunning. Final couple of wedges should be in here. So we've gone 50 degree, which fits in perfectly uh, in terms of like loft gapping, but also distance gapping as well. We've gone 50, which has got 13 degree bounds. We've got 54 with 13 degree bounds and 58 with 13 degree bounds. So if you're wondering why my bounces might be a little bit higher than yours, it's because I am known to be a little bit steep. Uh, on my wedges so can get a little bit steep that little bit more bounce is just going to help with the interaction of the turf you know and stop that leading edge digging in um, so I know some of you guys on your like 58 and your 60 you're probably using four and six degree bounce because you probably most people are a little bit shallower with the wedges which are actually really good um, I don't know if it's something to do with how I've been taught as a golfer that I think I think my big problem is is I just I try I I hinge that wrist a little bit too quick on way back, so I kind of like I need to try to have a bit less wrist and more turn and whip to keep the club a little bit shallower. But as much as I keep trying to do that, it just doesn't doesn't happen, <laughs> or I sometimes fall back into bad habits. Right, this is the big section. This is the section you guys don't know too much about. I'm buzzing for this because for many years now I have not had a fairway wood in the bag. But thanks to Sam, he's given me the confidence to put in a black ops four wood. So I've got a 17 degree, but on Sam's advice, we've got it lofted down. So it's opened that face up a little bit. So it's going to play a bit more like probably 16 degrees. Um, and we've got the Venta Stiff Velico. Now, the reason I've got stiff is because if you watch the fitting videos, you'll know that I like feel, I like to feel the shaft. But because it's a velicore, I can do that as well because I'd, I've got the control, you know, in the in the bottom of the shaft. It's not going to... If I'd have gone for, like, a stock stiff shaft, it would have just been too whippy. It have felt all over. But that is the beauty of getting an exotic shaft is that you've got more stability in the club. So you can sometimes go a little bit softer flex to get feel, but not lose control. And we've also got the matching hybrid and the final club is the 19 degree Black Ops Free Hybrid with again Ventus Velico Blue Shaft, mid size grip. Everything in the bag is swing weighted to D5. Again, that came on Sam's recommendation to help me get that feeling. I, I've, I really love the feeling of extra weight in the head. You've probably seen on the videos, I'm starting to get a bit of a waggle. I never realized, until I met Sam, I didn't know about swing weights. And I never had a waggle at all. I saw people doing it and I was like, I can't do that, like I'm too like this, but when we, when you've got the right swing weight, it's amazing how much more feel you get in the club, so credit to Sam. And I can't thank PXG enough for showing this support, showing the love to the channel, obviously we're still a really small channel, we're still growing, um, and, and thanks to you guys as well, look, you know, I'm not silly, without you guys watching the videos, without your support and without your comments, oops, I think I've just broken an ornament. Um, we wouldn't be here today. Um, so anyway, I'm blabbing on. I can't wait to get these out on the course. And um, it shouldn't be too long before the driver's here as well. I think it's safe to say I'm officially a PXG troop. Thanks for watching, guys. Can't wait to get these out on the course. And we'll see you in a couple of days' time. Bye.